Hi guys, welcome to 209 Online. Today, you are gonna learn a new bow team. But first, we're gonna review the ones we've done a, quite a bit ago. We haven't done our bow teams in a while. So we're gonna start with review, then I'm gonna teach you a new one, okay? So we have already learned the ways to make the long A sound. I wish you were here to yell them out at me, but I'm gonna go ahead and give them to you. See if you can yell them out as I'm doing them. The A sound can be made, I'm gonna give you the easiest one, A magic E, like as in eight, I ate my dinner, A-T-E, eight. The next one is your A-I, as in um, the bait, I put the bait on the fishing pole so that I could fish, the worm. And the next one we learned was A-Y. I like to play with my friends, P-L-A-Y. We learned that the A-I is typically found in the middle of words, like bait, B-A-T. I'll even write that here, B-A-T. A-I is in the middle. Whereas A-Y is often at the end, like as in, I need to pay the bill, pay, okay? We went on to E after that. E is a little bit harder. We have E magic E, as in Pete. Then we did E, E, as in I see you. And last, I'm gonna take that U away because that's what we're gonna learn today. We're going to do E, we did E-A, as in, I need to drink some tea, okay? E-E -E and E-A is not easy to guess. You have to just read a lot and learn which one to use. The I sound was next. We did I magic E, like kite. We did I-E, like pie and I, G, H, like look up high, okay? And the last one we have already done is the O sounds. We did O magic E, like rope, and O E, like toe, and O A, for boat. O E and O A, are also tricky to figure out. But you see O-E a lot of times at the end of a word, like as in toe, ho, doe, a female deer. Whereas an O-A is not often at the end of the word. It's usually in the middle of a word or at the beginning of a word, like oats or boat, okay? Today we're gonna learn three new sounds. Well, actually, you've already learned U magic E, but we're gonna learn there are other ways to make the U sound. U magic E. U E is the next most common spelling. And then U I, like as in cruise ship. When we do this work, we just look to see which spelling pattern was used in each word. This word is bruise, bur, ooze. I use that oo sound. That's sometimes what the u says when it's long, bruised. I have a bruise on my wrist. What word is that? Oh, I put it in the wrong pile. That had a ui, it needs to go under the ui. Thanks, Sophie. Cute. She is so cute. You, magic E. I see it. Cute. J, U, S. That E is soft when it's followed by a C, so it's going to say the S sound. J, U, S. Another U, I spelling. Huge, 
That tree is huge. Huge. That G is also soft and says the J sound when followed by an E. Huge. New magic key. Blue. You all know this word because you've been learning color words for a long time. Blue. U-E spells blue. Cruise. There's that cruise ship. I have a U-I spelling in this one. Cur use. What word is this? Col you. Clue. I found a clue to solve the mystery. Q. K Q. Q. This word is the name of this pole that you use to play pool. I've got a pool table with balls and this Q. Another U E word. Ooh. Arg you. Argue. Also spelled with a U E. Tissue. I need a tissue for my nose. Hear that U sound at the end? Fruit. Fruit. Ooh. Cube. Magic E again. Cube. You learned about those in EDL. Suit. Scoot. My parents sometimes wear suits to work. True. Is it true that you are staying with me all night tonight instead of going home? True. Glue. 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 You're going to need glue for some of your worksheets. Mule. Mule. Magic E again. Tube. Tube. The tube of toothpaste is almost gone. And flute. Flute. I thought my daughter was going to play the flute. But she didn't. Flute. Now you guys were so lucky. You got to watch me do all the work. Normally if you were here, we'd be making all kinds of words. But I want you to look for just a second at the words closely. Okay? Do you notice about where the U-E is in all of these words? What I notice is that they all are at the end of the word. Do you notice anything about where the U-I is in these words? They all are in the middle. So that could be a good rule of thumb when you're thinking about which U sound to use. If the U sound you're hearing is at the end of the word, I would try a U-E. But if the U sound is in the middle, then you have to guess. Do I use a U-I or do I use a U magic E? You'll learn how to do that as you read more and see those words as you read. You'll learn to memorize what they look like and you'll know which one to pick. Okay guys, I gave you some fun workshops to, or worksheets to do when you get home. These, you're gonna need a dice. So maybe ask mom and, get, mom and dad if you have a dice in one of your games. You're gonna roll the dice, and if you, you roll the one, you're gonna practice writing the word use. These are all you magic keywords. You have use, tune, mule, fuse, June and rule. It's hard to see probably from here, but you'll see it when you get when you when you get your packet. So as you roll the dice, you roll a one, you first trace over the word use and learn how to spell it. Then every time you roll a one, I want you to practice writing it again on your own. Don't just color it in. You're not pre care so you get to write it over and over again so you know how to spell it when you want to use it in a sentence. This page is you magic -y again. And please have your parents help you read the directions if you can't read all of the words. Because right here, 
It says highlight the U magic keywords. Not all the words, only the U magic, magic keywords. Those highlighted words are going to be the answers to these down here. I have more. Here's one for you to practice the U E words. Same thing, roll the dice. See which one gets to the finish line first. Practice writing, don't color in the squares. And the last one, another UE page. Same thing, highlight only the UE words in this square. Find a highlighter at home, that'll be fun to use. And then use those highlighted words for your answers down here, okay? You have lots of work to do. And when you're done with that, don't forget, look at the uh, description under the video to see which links to go to. But you have Brain Pop, Brain Pop Junior, and Khan Academy with lots of fun games to practice your long vowels. We didn't do all the long vowels today, but we did review them. So that means all of those long vowel activities on those apps are good for you to use. Okay? Thanks, guys. Bye.